Hotline here on Niger Diaries. I promise to say the truth. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. Let's get spicy. Eh? Ha. I live back. I love that question. I can't say it. Hello, Fufu. <laughs> I probably drank for the first time at like maybe eight years old. I passed to the year of this. I think that was secondary school, I think prom or something like that. I'd say senior secondary school. The first time I had the proper drink, not the tiny sips people went about having as children. I don't know if you can relate to that, but hey. I was, I think, 14, Jesus Christ. Guys, my mom is going to see this and know that I took alcohol for the first time when I was 14. Okay, first time was 14. That shit tasted nasty, bro. It tasted nasty, but after, it started tasting good. Like, you know, the burn wasn't burning too much. You know, the tingling sensation of your tongue was like, mm. It wasn't like, oh, it was like, mm. <laughs> He burned me all the way down. And I'm like, why do people like this thing? This is bitter and painful. But yeah, that was my first time drinking alcohol. I was 14. Mommy, I'm sorry. You were not around. You had gone to Benin. You know, Mom, why are you doing your love? When I start becoming very chatty. When I'm holding my cup, it starts to spill a bit. I just know it's time to stop. That's how I know I've had too much to drink. Or I've had enough to drink, not too much. When I know I've had too much to drink, it's blackout. When I start smiling like this, <laughs> that's when you will know that I've had something to drink. I'll just be doing like this. Nobody, nothing is for you. I'll just be like this. And then the eyes now don't like this. I start saying nonsense. Oh, and my accents, British accent, American accent from nowhere. I can't judge it. So yes, accents will come out. Yeah, that's it. When I start feeling my toes, you know, usually like you don't notice your your your, your feet, like your toes. But when I start feeling my toes, like my toenails and everything, I know, yeah, I've had too much, but you need to you need to chill before you black out. I downed more than half, what am I saying? Like three quarters of the bottle of something that I cannot mention. But I drank, 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 and I was like, what was happening? Nothing is happening. So like, why are people always shouting? And I kept drinking until my eyes started doing like this. I started removing clothes. Thankfully, I was at home, but people were at home. I was removing my clothes, accent was coming, like I was in the nude. But thankfully, somebody that cared about me was there and he was there to help me. Thank God I didn't do anything stupid. Oh, I blacked out in college. I was drinking, I was drinking, I was drinking. And I stopped drinking. <laughs> but I didn't stop drinking because I wanted to stop drinking. I stopped drinking because I fell on my couch and I woke up the next day and I didn't know what happened. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wasn't responsible, guys. Don't do what I did. We were playing truth or dare. It was just, eight. I think we were like about five girls. Yeah. And I was drinking, drinking. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Straight, clean, neat, <laughs> no mixers, no chasers, nothing, with no food in my system. Vodka, guys, vodka. And I was just going, 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 and... I just remember waking up the next morning and being very embarrassed because apparently I, I blacked out and I had puked, and that was the first and the last time. <laughs> and they had so many stories to tell the next morning. I'm never going to go out or go to a place and just drink to stupor where I don't know what's happening. No, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that guy. We're doing giving that, I was like, I can handle my liquor. They're saying, never have I ever. Even the one we say, I know do. <laughs> hey, um, I just found myself on the floor and I was sleeping there and my stupid friends left me. I were taking picture. Watch your friends, they will shame you. Oh, cocktails. I mean, it depends, it depends. I've also had shots in beer, so. Depends on the beer, Sha, but more, shots, shot, shot. Red wine, give me that red wine, give me a movie, give me some ice cream, and give me a fine shorty, bro, I'm good. Cocktails, I'm not a fan of shots, I'm not a fan, so cocktails. One is too much. I, I know so I be drinking like that, one. By the time we drink one, <laughs> the whole body knows that we have drank one, so one is too much. It depends. If I'm having a Long Island, I have made the mistake of having two cups of Long Island in Lagos. I don't know. I'm very sure Lagos, Long Island, it has, its reputation precedes it. If I'm having wine, I can have three cups. 
of wine? Two pounds of beer, I'm good. Oh, it depends. Oh, it depends. It depends on the red wine. Yeah, usually like a bottle. A bottle, and I'm good. I'm straight. Uh, I can do two. Not a Long Island. One, one of Long Island. But I can regular cocktails. I can do two, and I'll be fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, wine is a natural aphrodisiac. Anybody that says wine does not get them. Let's just use the word, guys. We're all adults in the room. Horny. It gets you horny. It gets you ready to go. Do you mean does wine make me feel like picking up my phone and calling all the men that I have? <laughs> that I have exed in my life? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Wine does that to everybody. And you know that it does it to you. That's why you asked me that question. Exactly. Yeah, but don't do it. It's just the wine speaking. Don't call anybody. Yo. Mm -hmm. They're going to give you a lot now. <laughs> Take a screenshot of your message and post it on Twitter. <laughs> it just puts you in a certain mood sometimes. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, no, no, I enjoy drinking alcohol. If, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. See, it's for vibes. Because it puts you in a good mood. Red wine, I enjoy drinking red wine. Like, I love, I will be alone by myself in my house and I can finish a bottle. But other, like, shots and stuff is just when you're out with friends and to put you in the mood. Aside from that, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I do, I like how it makes me feel. Yeah, it makes me a bit active. But normally on my own when I'm just chilling at home, I would rather just be sober. My dear, it's just social politeness, so. All these scotch, tequila stuffs, it's not really my, it's a peer pressure something. Of course. No, no. There has to be, there has to be a reward. If there's a reward, yes. If there's no, why, for what? Why are you starving yourself? For a year? Why not, yeah, of course. I could give up alcohol for a year for sure, for sure, easy. I could not take them for many years, 16 years. I can't give it up, dear. I definitely can't. I did it for three years, and I'm doing it again right now. It's not my first time in the rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> um, shisha, red wine, drinks, a couple of shots, great loud music. Uh, yeah, that's it. Maybe a good live band. I like live bands, so yeah. With the boys, good chirps, good conversation, good vibes. You know, probably looking at some fine shorties too. You know, having good drinks. I'm, a, I'm more of a strawberry, Dakari type of guy. I like sweet drinks, don't judge me. Maybe a bottle of champagne, and then there's food, but like just finger food, and we're having good conversation, and everyone is just happy. We're not drunk, but we're tipsy. My perfect night out would be where I don't have to pay for my drinks. <laughs> no, that would just be it. Someone else pay, I'll drink. Getting drunk is not cool. I just want to put that out there. You look silly as hell. Like, you're an adult. You should know your limits. Nobody should bring out any video of me being drunk after they see this video. Those are my on Niger Diaries. <laughs>